Hi, I'm Jeremy with the Howard County Library System. Today we're going to be creating a botanical illustration. Let's get started. The first step is to choose what type of plant specimen you're going to illustrate, then transfer it to a pot and bring it into the studio. Another option is to find the plant specimen growing in its natural habitat, then prepare to draw it from observation while out in the field. Next, we're gonna decide on the layout of our composition. To do this, we're gonna create several different thumbnail sketches of different compositions and see which one we like best. The composition of a botanical illustration is gonna be one of the most important things to consider because you have to figure out the best way to show all the major characteristics, components, and the life cycle of the plant as well. In these thumbnails, what you'll notice is that I'm not drawing the whole bush. I'm only drawing specific sections that possess the features that I'm looking for, then I'm placing them together to create a natural looking composition. With our composition, we're looking for a layout that feels organic and natural. We also want the image to have movement across the page and to show significant changes in the characteristics of the plant's existence. And I think the third thumbnail did the best job of that. Now that we decided on our composition, we're gonna set up our paper by lightly drawing a one inch border. Next, we're gonna draw our subject in pencil, making sure to pay close attention to the fine details and characteristics of our plant. Draw using only contour lines so we can shade it in later using pen. When I talk about drawing the life cycle of the plant, what I mean is that you want to be able to show the sprouting of buds, leaves, the flowers, and the wilting and dying of those leaves and flowers.
once we've drawn the subject in pencil, we're going to outline it using a fine point pen with archival ink. Personally, I like micron pens because the ink doesn't bleed or smudge. They also come in different sizes, which is nice for shading smaller details.
Once you've completed outlining your drawing in pen, erase your pencil marks and we'll prepare for shading. The shading technique that I'll be using is called stippling, which uses clusters of dots layered upon one another to create tonal values. Before I start shading, I want to look at my subject and identify the highlights and shadows, then separate them using pencil on my drawing. This will make it easier to see where the shadows start and stop when it comes to stippling. When stippling, you first want to create a field of dots that are evenly spaced within the area you're shading. Next, you'll begin to layer your dots over one another to create contrasting values. The trick is to take your time and not to rush. The shading technique often takes a while. When it comes to botanical illustrations, there are basically two categories, botanical art and botanical illustrations. 
The two terms often get used interchangeably, but the difference between botanical art and botanical illustrations lies with the intention of the artist. Historically, botanical illustrations took a more scientific approach, where plant species were drawn with precise detail in order to identify them out in the wild. Artists would draw seeds, cross-sections, buds, flowers, leaves, and pistils. The drawings also often lack color so that the features and details could be seen more clearly. Botanical art, on the other hand, also consisted of accurate drawings of plant species, yet with more artistic flair. These artworks were often colored using watercolor and were more open to artistic interpretation. Nowadays, you see more of a blending of the two styles, mainly with botanical illustrations incorporating color into their artworks.
bed in the summertime. Like a sky in the sunshine. Man, cool breeze like a lifeline. Take my cruise at the dead of night. Been hard times, so it's been alright. Telling me that it's good for life. Trees green like the lake water. Instead of coop, that's a big order. That loop too rich for you. This sun, it don't worry. Don't gonna burn you. We just had to fit the cold. Learn to live in the cold. Past lives in the snow. Filling holes in the road. Way before us. Yeah. Uh-huh.